And another really cool thing is that capillary action was actually interrupted. So we need a little primer on what capillary action is. It's just the tendency of a lot of materials to wick moisture in. So for example, modern concrete is very capillary active. It will wick water inward if it doesn't have a proper capillary break. That's that kind of rising damp phenomenon. I thought before I started reading about thatch that it would be very capillary active, but it's actually not, which is so cool. It's made up of large hollow stems with smooth surfaces that do not allow for tight contact between the fibers, so the water can't bridge from one stem to the next within that bundle. It's like trying to wick water along a bundle of drinking straws. While the thatch material is tightly packed, the gaps between the stems are still too large, 0.5 to 3 millimeters, for capillary rise to occur. That is 10 to 100 times too large for capillary action, for that capillary rise to happen. It seems like small spaces and it is, but it's still too big of pores to create that um, surface tension. Very ingenious roofing method that was used for millennia.